G'day guys and girls, my name's Jamie Gray and welcome to another Landscape Contractor Magazine Test Drive. We're here with my good mate Andrew Tullock. How are you buddy? Good thanks. Mate, the guys at Toro have come to us with another fantastic product mate, but a little bit different to the ride-ons we're used to doing. What do you want to share with everybody at home about it? Well, it's a lot different. Um, it's a Toro Tempest DC timer. Perfect. Um, there's two models. Yep. We've installed one already. Yep. Um, without the LCD screen, and we've got this one here with the LCD screen. Perfect, and I guess we're talking about a, an irrigation control system, right, or a management system. That's it, Perfect. Yeah. Um, Perfect. without the need for mains power. Perfect, so this one runs batteries, um, what, it takes a nine volt, or it can do the four double A's, right? That's right, you've got the option in the LCD model. For awesome, yeah. awesome. So mate, what are some of the standout features just to sort of touch on before we delve into the really good stuff? Well, it's 100% waterproof. IP68, awesome. So, so you can install it in the ground, in the valve box. Fantastic. Um, also, it's um, UV resistant as well. So if you are mounting it outside on a wall in the sun, um, yep. it's, it's made to take the, the UV rays. Excellent, mate, excellent. And what else have we got going on in there? Um, it's got rain sensor input. Okay. Which is, especially now with these water restrictions we've got here in Sydney. Yep. Um, excellent feature. Um, often not on battery timers. Yep. Um, and also water budgeting up to 200% uh, in 10% increments. So, okay. Yeah. So Andrew, having a rain sensor as an accessory uh, is a great option, right? Particularly with the water restrictions and whatnot in place. That's right. I mean, you can't operate a, a system here in New South Wales at the moment with these stage one water restrictions without one. Yep. Um, so the cap having the capability is, uh, is awesome. Perfect, mate. Well, look, why don't we actually, we'll pull out the mobile phone, we'll turn this bad boy on, and we'll just have a look at some of the, the programming side of things. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, we've got the Tempest DC timer here. It's uh, the LCD screen model, obviously. Uh, you can just whack it on by hitting that button there, and you can see it shows down the side here um, all your info, um, your manual setup, your programming, um, on off, time and date, battery, battery levels, um, all your days of the week. Um, so it's quite easy to program. You just uh, scroll down here. Um, you've got manual setup there, um, programming, um, hit program, and you can see we have program A there. Um, like the other one here, we've set it up for odd days, um, but all this can also be done from the app on your phone. Okay, so you can see we've got the Tempest controller we've already installed available here. So now we want to just try and pair with the LCD model that I was showing earlier. It's as simple as just searching for it, click the button, and there, and we're trying to connect. Connecting now, and now we're connected to the LCD version. So now that we've paired with the timer, it's as simple as we can go in here and have a look around. We've got, um, we can name our timer. We've got a security key, which is good. So you can put in a code that only you or other people that you want access to the controller can, can have. Uh, so nobody else can try and pair with the controller. Um, a location for contractors, we've got multiple units out there. Uh, we've got a location for each each name. Um, we can rename stations. So we've got station one is the lawn now. So here's where we had our existing setup. We had two taps, two manual timers, very messy setup. Um, we've now replaced it with this ball valve, backflow prevention and blue line running up to the control box behind me. So programming the timers is, is so simple. Um, you know, we've got the app here, hit programming. Um, we have Four programs, A, B, C or D, it's just a matter of selecting which program. Um, our percentage run times, we can turn that up or down just on this sliding scale here. Station durations, we just come in, we've already entered these in here, we have three stations on there. Start times, click on start times, we've only got one start time but you can have three. And our calendar so we can select our watering days. Um, we can get even days, odd days, you know, or, or customise and just choose any day of the week we want to water. So you can see here we've got it set up, we're going to choose the manual option. Um, come in here, we've got our four station option for the four station controller. We've got three stations set up on this one, but um, so it's just as simple as we we'll select station three, hit play, and then we just can stop it just as easily. So Andrew, the thing that really jumps out at me is much there's some awesome technology on board here. The interface uh, and the app is extremely easy to use, right? Well, I can use it, so it must be. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could have a fair crack at it too, mate. No, but look, that's what you want with a system like this, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's, um, I've never come across anything so easy in something like this. Perfect. So what about um, in terms of standout features for you? What, if you're going to pick one, what would probably be the best selling point? 
Well, if I was just going to pick one, you know, the, no electricity required really yeah. um, is, is unreal. But, yep. you know, there's, there's so many. I mean, multiple programs, you can have up to four programs, which is ideal, you know. You don't, don't want to water your grass, you know, every day. Yep. Um, but, you know, I've got the veggie garden out the back there yeah. that, you know, I definitely need to give it water, you know. Yep. I, and I guess when the seasonals come in as well, that's all going to, you know, change your frequency and the level of water you want to get things onto. So, mate, yeah. she's a great little piece of kit. So, Andrew, there's no denying the uh, the Toro Tempest DC uh, is an absolutely awesome little piece of kit. So, guys, thanks so much for joining in for another Landscape Contractor Magazine test drive. Make sure you check out one of these bad boys for summer. Uh, it's going to be an awesome addition to your garden. And make sure you stay really safe on site and we'll catch you soon. Thank you.